Let's the question that we have about him. We say that I want to express the following as a fraction in the form P um, over Q, where Q is not equal to zero. I want to express this as a fraction. When you express like, this this form into a fraction, you're supposed to follow at, um, two steps when doing this. Now, before we do that, we can write this one here. This means that this is 1.6666 6 is, re is repeating. So since 6 is repeating, what you're supposed to do is this. We'll say that since 6 is repeating, we are going to let x be equal to let x be equal to 1.6. And the number that is repeating, you show a bound to show that this number is, is repeating. The moment you do that, you can, of course, check the two steps um, and the first step we're supposed to make sure that you make sure that sure that the decimal is just before before the bar just before the bar this is what we're trying to achieve so the first step make sure that the decimal is just before, before the bar. So when you check for this expression here, for this expression we have 1.6 bar, and then the decimal is just before, before the bar. So which means that you have covered the, the first step. The second step, we say second step, you make sure that, make sure that the decimal decimal is just after after the bar. So here we need to move this decimal so that it can be just after the bar. So for us to move this decimal from this point to that point, it's going to move one. So you need to multiply by by under since we are moving this decimal here, we are moving it once, it is crossing one number. So we need to multiply this one here by, by 10. So multiplying this by 10, you're going to get um, 10 times x, you get 10x is equal to 10 times 1.6, you're going to get 16 points. Since we see that this decimal is there and this 6 is repeating, so I can show that there is a 6 which is still repeating this side. The moment you reach this stage, you can now subtract these two. The expression that you got, the equation that you got from, of course, this step and this step. so you subtract this expression from this step minus the expression from that step so this means that this is going to be 10x minus x so you subtract this by that and this is going to be subtract this from that you will have 10x minus minus x is equal to that is going to be 16.6 bar then this is minus 1.6 bar when you get that Equation, we can subtract this two here. Remember that 10x minus minus x, this just gives you 9x, which is equal to. Now, this is just 16.6 uh, minus 1.6. 1. 1. And this is going to be over. And uh, you subtract, since this is 6 bar, 6 bar, this gives you a 0. So we just remain with uh, 16 uh, minus 1. So this is 6 minus 1, we get 5. And that is going to be to be 15. So when you subtract this, this gives you a 15. Then you divide multiply by by 95 x. So this is going to be x is equal to that is 15 over 9. The moment you reach the state, we're supposed to uh, find the x that can go be uh, the value or the factor that we're going to do 59. We want to find that value that we're going to do 59. For example, in this case, we can use uh, 3, 3 into 9, you get 3, 3 into 15, of course, you get uh, you get 5. So, the value of x in this case will be 5 over, over 3. This is going to be x. So, since we have to let x to be equal to 1.6 bar, this means that 1.6 bar is the same as 5 over, over 3. That's the way we express uh, this decimal.